are we getting right into it? Yeah, sure, man. Lay it oh, on me. Okay. Controllers. controllers. And I'm talking about video game controllers. Like, we can... I guess we could talk about, like, remotes for TVs, which are... That, that's, I guess that's an well, interesting Well, remote TV controllers are entirely different. A yeah. remote controller is not really in our wheelhouse. Our, my passion is not necessarily what the best remote control for a TV is. My yeah. passion, what I feel very strongly about is... Yes. Is the is controllers okay so why don't so tell me tell me what your favorite controller is and i'll tell you mine like of all time okay like you had to pick all one. you have one all controller. time so so okay the, the, i guess this is two different questions first question what is just your favorite controller to use bar none like just you have to, you have to pick your favorite and then the second question would be if you could only use one controller for the rest of your life to play every single video game, like which controller would you pick? Because I feel like those are two different questions. Yeah. Uh, well, I feel like I might already know your take on this potentially because maybe we've talked about this before. May have. Not actually... ever while waiting for a train. <laughs> maybe. Wait, have we? I don't. We haven't talked about this before on the show. I mean, I, I at least know your controller preferences. Right. In, in some way okay I, I have to i will disclaimer i don't know every controller i know a lot of controllers but i don't know every controller there's probably a myriad of controllers that i just that no idea right okay. they do yeah yeah my personal experience especially as of late practically since honestly january when i bought it would have to be uh an xbox controller uh which one specifically just the, uh, xbox one that's a good question I don't, xbox one and xbox series x it's it's pretty much the same controller i think there's like slight differences let me with them. look it up this okay. would be an, if it's wait, brand new well, this one's a probably, xbox four wireless xbox four did you say four no no four four Xbox Core wireless gaming controller. Core, okay. It says it works for all of them. So Xbox Series S, uh, Xbox One, Windows PC. What's interesting about this is I've actually never owned or never really cared to own an Xbox. Mm. I just really like the controller. Well, a PC at this point is an Xbox, uh, honestly. So, I mean... Okay, so then I fall into that wheelhouse because I use it for PC. I, I would say I would say it's slowly it's slowly gonna take over. And it has been like ever since uh, your Microsoft account and like Game Pass started to come to PC. Like ever since all that stuff started coming, like it's it's a process. It's gonna take over for sure. Um, but yeah, I I would say so. You're locking in the Xbox One X uh, or Xbox Series X controller, pretty much as your is that yeah, your answer to the, both? the wireless one yeah is that your answer to both questions honestly yeah if i had to use that to play games forevermore and that was like the way to do it i'd be fine with that only okay. because maybe it's because i'm a very basic person it, i don't have a lot of money to put to throw at this so the xbox series s it while it's an expensive controller it like really backs itself up with yeah that i mean it's it's got all of your modern age kind of technologies that have been in previous controllers but i do feel like the design is very uh it's very ergonomic it's nice on my wrists and i really do like the grips i love the that's kind of one of the big selling parts for it to me actually it says it feel good in my hands because mm. you know, for all intents and purposes, weight. I'm holding on to it for a long time. Like, how did, do you care about like if it's weighty? Yes, yes. Surprisingly, I do. I do care about the weight. I don't know why I do, but it, it does matter. I, there's something inherent in my system that's like, if it ain't got weight, then it ain't worth n nothing. Yeah, I. T so okay, this. I mean, we're kind of. So I'm, let me answer my questions that I asked. Um, so my favorite controller to use is, I think, the GameCube controller. I just, I'll take I, any any game that 
can use the GameCube controller in a good way. Like I'm not missing out on any features. Um, I will use the GameCube controller if I can. I mean, for for most, it's because I I'm interesting. Okay, I'm I'm weird when it comes to this stuff. Uh, but I would say overall, that is my favorite controller to use. And then if I had to use one controller for the rest of my life, I think I would choose a PS5 controller. And if I had to pick a specific one, because I would pick a a regular GameCube controller, maybe maybe one of the newer ones that has the longer cord, but I want a corded GameCube controller. I'm not, I'm not using a WaveBird or anything. So a corded GameCube controller, I, right now I have the, the Emerald, uh, the Emerald Blue one or whatever you call it, the Emerald Blue GameCube controller. I really enjoy that one. So maybe that color with a longer cord, or maybe I'd get a modded one. Like if, if we're going all out, I would probably get a modded one uh, that I can go all out and spend like 300 plus dollars on it. Um, like the ones that all the Smash Pros have. Oh. And then for I take for the oh yeah what what's up? Um, we are way beyond the need for cords. Way way beyond <laughs> the need for cords. I think that cords should go away forever. There's listen, no man, reason. Okay. Listen, man, to have a listen, cord man. outside of having a cord. You are speaking to my soul, okay? Because if you go out into my living room, like you've seen it. You got my li- on a daily basis. We have like Dude, that is a 10, cord labyrinth. Cords just laying around, but like, there's what are we gonna do? Like, we we need these cords out because that's how it works. We we're charging our phone, we're charging our our PS5 controllers, and we're not using them. We're like the games are there's extension cords because like oh we want to play on this system that we haven't played in a while, and it it takes a cord and oh we we want to be able to like hear what's coming out of the TV without both TVs coming out at the same time so we we're, let's use a an extender for headphones you know so i'm with you i want to get I'm worried course. that yes. i would come into your apartment sometime <laughs> and you guys are just drowned in cords <laughs> like they're bound I, I, together by we, your own cords we, we they, have, they, we, they we have some boxes uh in the closet that are like it's it's insane how many cords we have but i mean that's that's what life has been for for gamers and for people that enjoy technology and hardware it's just cords man and we are getting to the point where it's becoming less and less and less that is true and i do agree with you where we have the technology to get rid of cords but we're not entirely there yet because um I, at least from a uh affordable standpoint for consumers not everything is up to snuff so a lot of wireless headphones do have delay which is not great so that's one thing and then another thing is the reason why my gamecube controller would be corded is because smash you want the least amount of delay possible and there is delay with like wireless controllers and i'm not saying every wireless controller like if we looked it up i'm sure the pro controller and like the switch pro controller and the corded gamecube controller i'm sure that they have are pretty much the same input delay or next to nothing difference. But um, if I were to use a WaveBird, I think that would add to it. And there just isn't the technology for an actual game. Okay. Controller. Not the weird Ex- little pro explain, controller. Explain game controllers. A, what, what are you asking? Explain a WaveBird to me. What is, what is oh, that? Oh, do you not know what a WaveBird is? Um, okay, no, so I, I, no. I want you to Google it. Just Google. Uh, I think if you just Google WaveBird, it'll come up. Yeah, just Google WaveBird and go to go to Google Images or something. So the WaveBird, it's a gray or silver GameCube controller that is wireless. We used to have one growing up, and it comes with this little adapter thing. It looks like a little brick with a like a little light on it. Oh, and, and I remember it, seeing yeah, this. So you would have time. to because it took batteries, um, and you would have to. You'd plug in the adapter and you'd have to make sure they're on the same channel. There was like 16 different channels or something, maybe 20 on that little, little, little knob that both of them have. It's like a little gear and you turn it to the both signal, like to the same signal and then you could play on it. And it was fine growing up. Um, like I, I played a lot of games on the WaveBird, but it also, I think does, it probably adds a little bit of delay. So in, in a game where you want to be frame perfect, so a fighting game, racing game, anything competitive that is like super intensive that you want to be frame perfect. Uh, eliminating all wirelessness will give you the best results most of the time. Um, 
You you want to be directly okay. hooked in. I agree. So, and same with like audio, audio quality. Audio this? quality loses. You lose a lot of audio quality if you go wireless. That is a fact for music. So, really, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but my my brother in law is, and he has told me all about it. So, uh, oh, interesting. I, I I guess I have to look into that because I didn't think you would. I because there's like wireless headphones out there that are through three four hundred dollars each. I would have just assumed that with price price would determine sound quality, not necessarily no. whether or not it has a cord. I mean, it's both, right? Like you need good speakers, but you also need uh it to be plugged in. I mean, there's a reason why like amps and things like you know those those cords that you have to plug into like amps and like electric guitars and stuff like those cords are beefy because audio is this is a different this is completely off topic but audio is i think the most intensive thing to transfer um so it's like Uh. yeah that's why phone calls are so bad quality is because they have to like compile them to be transferred instantly and it, it, it if you if you wanted your phone call to have really good audio quality and I'm talking like really good audio quality, it would be insanely delayed. So even our Discord call right now, I feel like is is taking a hit. Um, not to out ourselves too much, but... Um, well, I mean, to be honest, that's partially in due to my butt trash internet. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, well, I mean, but anyways, anyways, that's, that's a whole other thing. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Um, okay. Because I, I will say this about cords. Do you understand how many times I've like strangled myself on a cord? Strangled? Whether it's through headphones. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm wearing a, a headphones with a cord. And I, I just really like having cordless stuff because I'm very prone to strangle myself with Dude, the, okay. on accident. That's of crazy. Course. But like I'll move and I will totally forget that I'm corded into something. And I'll take it with me, whether it's a controller or a headset. And I will, my neck will crane. I'll get yanked backwards. At one point, I did actually like strangle myself on a cord. Oh my gosh. And it kind of hurt. That's crazy. Like, it, I, it just, it, they sneak up on you, man. Those are some stealthy cords. I, they, there I are mean, some ninja cords out there sounds... that don't make a sound. <laughs> it definitely sounds like it's more of a personal problem. Um, but I do think it's also it's I don't, something, okay. I think I, I could I, accept that it is a skill issue, but <laughs> that skill issue has led me to want to get port this stuff. It's a, it's a relatable skill issue, but I feel like you're you're experiencing difficulties with cords that's like on a slightly different level than like the normal person. But I I do think that okay. the re- I do if, think that the if regular- anyone else has had these issues with cords make it known i think let your voice be heard i think the regular average person probably is also not a fan of chords and they probably don't care about losing audio quality and they don't care about getting delay on their games i'm just a stickler when it comes to that stuff i like i want things frame perfect i want them to sound amazing i i just I, i'm all about that little fine detail stuff but i know that a lot of people don't care they're like oh man i can play uh, like I can listen to stuff with AirPods on my phone. I can play with my pro controller. We call it a day. It's a, like, like the minimalist setups are really popular because they look really nice. And they, they, I mean, it is, it is, there is benefits to it. It's very simple and clean and nice to have, but I just prefer like the stuff you lose from it. I'd rather have uh, most of the time for me, even though it's like my goal, my goal is to somehow do both, right? How can I have a minimalist setup that is the best quality? Right, because usually that's what you're sacrificing. But, anyways, yeah. Back, back to the subject at hand: controllers. Hey, uh, I will say this. I will say this with <laughs> with um, kind of to round out this this <laughs> right. uh, subject is our trains coming up. Um, I I want to address some of the worst controllers, and or controller, uh, plugins that exist. Um. I, mean, I really dislike the PS4 controller, oh, not man. for any reason to do with the actual controller, but its freaking cord connection is the worst thing I've ever seen. Dude, you think about it wrong and it disconnects. 
Right. Okay. And there's okay. Nothing hold you on. Can do. Hold just... on, bro. You're you're going off the rails, man. Like, you're, you're so f- first thing is you're gonna mention the worst controllers ever made, and then you're gonna say PS4 controller, which is absurd to mention those two things next to each other. Okay. No, no. And... Sorry. Maybe those, <laughs> maybe those shouldn't be mentioned in direct tandem with each other. What I'm saying is one of the worst corded experiences i've ever had okay, was okay. with a that's PS4 okay i can accept that and to be fair it's not the ps4 controller's fault it's the fact that us as a society and uh like all of the techie people like for some reason we evolved to use micro usbs which are just terrible i don't think anybody it would ever I go thought back. you were taking that back to us. I thought you were taking that back to a skill issue thing, and I was no, no, about no, no, to no, be no, 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 offended. There. So there's two, <laughs> the two problems with that design is number one, the cord. Like again, that cord sucks. Like USB C is so much better. I'm so glad we use USB C now because it doesn't matter what side you put it in. They last way longer. They like have a way harder time becoming loose. Which the micro USB, it had all these problems. We're back to cords again. Like, how did this happen? And then, uh, I also the PS4, it, it should have a slot for batteries. Cause like I, yes. I'm a yes. huge battery guy. I love using batteries because you just don't have to think about it. And when it starts to get low, it'll start flashing, and you're just like, oh snap! And you put some more batteries in, and then you don't have to worry about it for another like two, three weeks. It, I mean, if you're gaming all day, every day, maybe, maybe sooner, but dude, yeah, I love the fact that Xbox kept the battery train going. Um, and then the switch pro controller is like, Oh, you got to charge me like once every two weeks. Like, I, like what? And yet the PS4 controller is like, you got to charge me every two to three hours. <laughs> and it's like, what? Yeah, yeah uh, that, it's true. That's kind of weird. It's I, inconsistent. And there's no Speaking batteries. Charge, it does bring to me it. to... You have to. Yeah. So oh, handheld man. systems. I had so much anxiety with handheld systems growing up. Because, man, if that red, if that little battery light from green to red, if that ever happened, dude, heart attack. Because I don't know how long that red thing lasts. Right. Sometimes it lasts half an hour. Yeah. Sometimes it lasts five minutes. Do I have time to, to run my game back in to get to a charger? Because back, back in the day on the Game Boy Advance, they did not have auto saves. That is yeah. that is a technology that was before that time. Right. I well, actually. Well, so are you mentioning the SP? Maybe this counts, but I loved. Yes, the SP. Sorry, not I'm the, trying to derail I, you. I played the SP. That was kind of my first. What, thing. what did you love? I'll finish my thought in a second. Oh, I I loved that controller. As a as a controller, the SP. I don't know. There's something very charming about the the Game Boy Advance. Well, so when you say Game Boy Advance, the SP is a little different because they, they're they're both the same system in terms of what they play. But the SP again had that PS4 problem where they moved from battery to only charge. You can only charge it, but the battery life wasn't great. So in a way, the Game Boy Advance was a superior system because the battery life was just so much better. Um, which okay, is wait. which is very now interesting. I gotta look it up. Because I trust sure. me, I played uh, my first portable console was an SP as well, like the, the first one that I like truly owned. So I'm with you on that. I love the SP as well. Okay, yes, they, I, they I had all, an SP. The SPs all have this issue, um, where they they just die because. Like, and the batteries get worse over time. Like, if, if you still own your SP, I'm sure that battery is does not last. Um, so, and there's, like, no way to really replace it unless you want to find some modder guy on the internet and, like, send it to him. Or maybe you have a local, like, game exchange store that you can go to and maybe they'll be able to help you. Um, but I, I rec- honestly, I recommend they have, if you don't want to go the weird, like, uh, bootleg, like, all-in-one emulator portable thing if you want to be more traditional there are modded game boy advances out there that have the backlight in and can be charged um that are modern um just for anybody out there who's wondering i know it's uh, again we're we're, we're 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 moving away from controllers but i mean all this stuff's really fun to talk about okay okay last thing before we hit the train i need your take on the worst controller 
ever honest truth ever because i'm i i'm an advocate for the n64 controller so that's not gonna be my answer um because i i think the the worst controller ever might come down to um because okay P, I'll, I'll give it the ps4 controller is by no means the worst but it is it's got like more flaws than most it's it's got a lot of flaws but i feel like the worst controller ever would be some kind of bootleg third-party controller so are we counting those or does that know to... count one from for all intents and purposes main like from the company that designed the console okay um... because the, the company that designed the console designed the controller as well for the interface so if that's what's the, the case, worst one if that's the case ps4 is up there I really, I honestly, honestly don't think the N64 controller is that bad. People just think it looks stupid and they don't like, like the way you have to hold it. But it, it honestly, bro, the, the N64 controller is kind of goaded. Okay. And I, I don't, I disagree with people who think otherwise. All right. Um, let's see what else, what else we got? We've got, a uh, maybe CDI, the, the Philips CDI. What is that? Oh boy, if you don't know what that is. Um maybe it has some really bad controllers. It came with a couple different kinds. The the remote one, very bad. Whoa, what the the remote controller is really bad. At? I'm not a huge fan of the, the Genesis controller either. Sega Genesis. Maybe I'm speaking out of term here. Um, because I didn't grow up with one. The Genesis controller did what it needed to, but I think the Super Nintendo controller was like superior in every way. Um, Ew! The Genesis controller looks like a bean. Yeah, with well, buttons it on just it. it just wasn't comfortable to hold, and the way the buttons were laid out weren't natural for the thumb. Um, I just I'm not a huge fan of the Genesis controller, even though I have played I've I've played on the actual hardware, just to experience it. Like it's it's fine. Um, let's see. What's another one I could bring up here? Uh, the Dreamcast has a great controller. It just needs a right stick. Dreamcast is good. Um, PS3 controller sucks. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe that's my answer. PS3 sucks, dude. Like it's worse than the PS4 controller, like bar none. Dang. So if if we're not if, yeah, like, if we don't want to actually, stoop to the CDI levels, then it's either this or the Genesis controller because this is also it's a micro no it's not micro USB mini USB mini which was before micro which was like what the Wii U Pro controller used to charge uh, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and but I would say the Wii U also is really the, struggling. The, the problem, dude, have department. You, have you used a PS3 controller, Kai? <laughs> have I you? have. Uh, I I grew up on a PS3. Dude, I'm I, looking at it now. It's and bad, it definitely bro. doesn't hold the same charm that I remember. Well, so it. Um, let's see. The PS2 controller. I grew up with a PS2 controller, which I used on my computer to play old games. Like I played Super Nintendo games on my computer with a ps2 controller which is why i know about it because i didn't grow up with the ps2 but th i liked that control a lot more because it had r1 r2 l1 l2 and the 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 back buttons were not the trigger right um whereas the the ps3 controller has like those trigger ones but your your fingers slide off of them there's no grip they slide off they're not curved like the ps4 ones to hold your finger they just slide right off which i hated that and then the controller feels super light and cheap PS4 controller feels better. Um, PS3 controller is super light and cheap, and the control sticks are big and puffy, and they're really close together, which the PS4 controller shares this problem where your thumbs will, like, touch each other if you do the inwards. Uh, I just did not like the PS3 controller at all. Plus, it has all the same issues as the PS4 controller, but it's just more dated and worse. Um, so I'm picking that one or Genesis, but I part of me wants to give Genesis the benefit of the doubt. So... That's my answer. Okay. That, that's the worst AAA controller that has been released. I'm not, I'm not like, I know everybody out there listening to this. If you're a controller connoisseur, I'm not talking like, cause like th there's all sorts of weird one-off like special edition controllers, like the resident evil Four GameCube controller. 
Uh, that one is crazy. It's a, uh, it's literally a chainsaw. <laughs> so what? Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> um here let okay me... we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to do one of these where we just explore i have some of the like say most deranged stuff. looking controllers yes um um but in in the meantime i think that kind of covers <laughs> what i was hoping for of this discussion yeah wow, dude it is a chainsaw what the yes. heck and how do you even hold that it's a gamecube controller how do you hold that um but anyways, I, so my, my final answer here, right? Just to go back to my original question, I would use a, a hundred multi hundred dollar modded GameCube controller is my favorite one to use. And then the elite PS5 controller that's customizable. Cause there's like elite versions of, of controllers like Xbox and PlayStation have these really fancy elite ones that you can like remove the face plating and like you can customize the sticks and the buttons and everything and the weight even um they have like buttons on the back too so like i an elite ps5 controller would be the one i would use to play everything but the uh gamecube one would be the one i would use whenever i can um so okay that is that is yeah that's it uh controllers are amazing mystery solved on controllers and hopefully, we, will, hopefully uh... we get to a cordless future hopefully it, it, hopefully we see it in our lifetime <laughs> hopefully Down with the cords. Down with the cords. Down with the cords. Down with the cords. Dude, I'm going to take them out myself. Uh, okay, that's it.